Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes and Associates, coming to you from the flybridge of the beautiful 2005 Ocean Alexander Altus 48 Detour. Ocean Alexander has long been synonymous with style, elegance, and quality of build. Detour is an excellent example of the Ocean Alexander Altus. She's sleek, fast, and comfortable. And Detour has been just refit from top to bottom, including new paint, top and bottom, flexi teak decks, uh, dock mate docking system, engine room reconditioned, engine serviced with thousand hour service. Everything's been done on the boat and she's ready to go. Uh, the owner has, uh, has gotten two grandchildren that are consuming his time right now, a lovely thing. And um, so he doesn't want the boat to sit. He's offering her for sale in Little River, North Carolina. So if you're interested at all in Detour, uh, feel free to check out the, my contact information and more uh, the link to the full listing in the descriptions of the video. Uh, in the meantime, why don't I take you and show you around the boat? Detour sleek lines, brand new paint job, the quality of construction you get with Ocean Alexander will ensure that this boat is going to be one of the finest boats you'll find in the marina. The Altus 48 is 48 inch, 48 feet from stern to bow. When you include the, the pulpit and the swim platform, she's actually 54 feet. She's a three cabin uh, model, so there's plenty of room for guests. Boarding uh, detour is uh, easiest from a floating dock right here through uh, the nice door in the, in the bulwarks, which leads you straight into the roomy cockpit all adorned with uh, flexi teak, brand new. This was just installed maybe uh, six months ago. You can see it's on the swim platform. Detour includes a really sharp, brand new uh, tender as well, and outboard motor. As we go in the cockpit, we have uh, access to the lazarette here. Here you get another look at this uh, tender. So Walker Bay, 11 foot center console. And there'll be more details, as I said, uh, in the full listing, which you'll have a link to there in the descriptions of the video. Going forward to the foredeck is easy. There's three steps up to the side decks. Plenty wide enough for me to walk right straight down. I don't have to turn sideways or shin me or anything like that. Look how nice the uh, Flexi Teak looks. We just had uh, sun pads made for the boat, so excellent place to hang out on deck, enjoying the, uh, the rays. You see here we've got a nice stainless steel anchor, stainless steel plow anchor, powered by this uh, Maxwell windlass. And here in the chain locker we've got all chain road and it says a nice stainless steel plow anchor just as easy to walk down the other side and we can get back to the cockpit And from here, we go up the staircase to the flybridge. Two brand new stid chairs. Really nice. The nice teak table. We have an L shaped uh, bench. Well laid out helm. With, uh, electronic controls, Vesper VHF radio. 
new Garmin touch screen and the docking station for the so the dock mate you can operate that from up here or out on the deck um, really convenient the dock mate so you can see lots of room on the flybridge this is a great place to put a couple beanbag chairs and hang out Going into the cabin here, we just slide the door open. And there you see the luxurious interior. I really like the style of these Ocean Alexanders. The galley is open to the salon. Quite a functional U-shaped galley with a three burner electric stove, a sharp convection microwave oven. Refrigerator is another thing that was replaced during her massive refit where she was in the boatyard for a year getting all redone, paint, all the systems gone over. She's truly ready to go. Everything's been taken care of. Now we have uh, window covers on now. That really helps keep the heat down and keeps the sun from damaging the interior. But with the window covers removed, you can easily operate the vessel here from the indoor uh, steering helm, lower helm. Kind of love this cabinet. Mm -hmm. that beautiful frosted glass. The lower helm we have uh, full controls, gauges. We have 679 hours on the uh, Yanmar engines, which we'll get to take a look at here shortly. And the distribution panel right here. This is the remote control for the dock mate. This is a very easy to operate joystick. You can move it to the side. You can bump it forward. You can bump it aft. Or you can twist it and the boat will just sit there and spin on her water line. So very versatile. You've even got uh, anchor controls so you can uh, raise and lower the anchor right here from this remote control. You can do it on the bridge, on the deck. Like you can stand on the dock and remotely operate your vessel into the marina safely, into the slip safely. We've got radar, Garmin uh, GPS, chart plotter. The only thing missing is an autopilot. And that's right here. So this is brand new, uh, it had a different autopilot when we purchased it and uh, with the new electronics uh, the, uh, the autopilot was upgraded to uh, Garmin as well. Next to the helm is the stairs down to the living quarters. As I mentioned she's a three cabin boat, we go down to the foyer. And to port, we have a guest cabin with a nice queen size bed. Cedar lined uh, hanging locker. You got an opening port for ventilation. I spent some time, uh, a couple weeks, uh, staying aboard as we brought the boat up with the owners in this cabin, and it was quite comfortable. Across on the starboard side, we have the cruise quarters or kiddies quarters. We've got a couple of uh, twin um, bunk beds here. There's a storage locker here. And then a storage locker here as well. Just forward of the uh, State room, the guest room, is the guest head on the uh, port side here. 
beautiful countertops, lots of mirrors, really add to the feeling of space in here. You got a separate shower here, vacuum flush heads, decent size uh, guest, uh, guest head. This far brings us to the luxurious master cabin. I love this uh, beautiful burl wood over the bed there. Just beautiful. Lots of nice woodwork. Storage under the bed as well. You also have cedar lined lockers in here. And here is also the uh, air conditioning unit for the forward, uh, forward cabin. And the forward head, also a uh, vacuum flush head. Again, lots of mirrors, beautiful countertop, Tikan Holly sole, and a separate shower. The engine room is accessed through a hatch in the middle of the salon floor. This engine room has been detailed as well with uh, touched up the paint and, on, and everything. So I'm going to climb down in here and see if I can give you a better look. The engine room on Detour is bright and roomy. It's very easy to climb into. I can sit down with plenty of room over my head. And um, it's just been detailed as I said. So uh, every inch of the engine room has been gone over. It's really in good shape. So there you have the uh, Starbird engine, uh, six-cylinder Yanmar. Again, all the details about the engine uh, you'll see in the listing if you take a look at, uh, at that link. After the engine, there you can see the running gear. Muffler. There are batteries here. It's easy to get access to the other side of the engine as well. This is part of our dockmate system here. And the port engine equally as nice. You see the running gear there, the muffler, and the air conditioner, which I'm sure you can hear running right now. As it's 80 degrees today. And then in the forward part of the engine room, you can see the strainers there, large water pump there, hot water heater, beautiful wiring. batteries there as well as battery chargers inverters and the aft part of the engine room is the generator I'll have more pictures of, uh, of the generator with the sound shield off again in the listing I hope you'll take a look so that's Detour. I thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I know there's a lot more information that uh, you'll need if you're interested in this vessel. And I hope you'll take the time to pull up the listing. There's going to be tons of photos, 360 photos of the interior. And I'll try to list every detail about the boat that I can. So it's really worth going ahead and clicking that link and checking the full listing. Thanks again for watching. I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes.